What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Chris, and welcome back to VHP Engines. Hopefully back. Been here for a while now, hopefully. Um, okay, so, sorry. This is really late at night. Throat's kind of a little shitty right now, and I wasn't planning on making this video, um, but it's become a very frequently asked question now that I'm doing a little bit more focus on the K-Series. And because I'm doing a little bit more focus on the K-Series and I'm filling out a new playlist, uh, I figured, why not talk about this? <laughs> so I'm talking about it. Um, I got another question earlier. Uh, let's see, I had the name here. E Eric, I think. Oh, uh, I lost my internet, so I can't pull up your name to see the question. But anyway, this is the frequently asked question here is about the K is that, can I use this rotating assembly and pistons, or can I use these pistons and rods in this engine? Or can I swap the this internals with that internals? So what I'm going to address here real quick is just the K20 in general, the lineup of the K20. I know there's like a whole bunch of different letters out there and numbers following the K20, so a lot of people get tripped out of here and like, oh, well, does this fit in that? Well, this fit in this and this fit in that. Well, first off, if you look at the K lineup with the K20, um, they all have the same born stroke. So they're all the same size pistons. They're all the same length rods. The difference being is the thickness at the journal. Now, to help you, you know, help ease your understanding here in this situation, you only really have to know that there's only two big differences between the engines. There's, there's the K20A3, and then there's all the other ones. The K20A3 is the only one that's different from all the other ones. All the other ones pretty much have the same, the same, uh, the same engine. Um, the K20A2 is what comes in like the RSX Type S and I think maybe the TSX if it was even around at the time I can't remember for sure but it comes in the RSX Type S then the K20Z1 comes out in the 0506 RSX Type S and um, and then there's the K20Z Z3 and shit that came out in the later SI the reason why they gave these uh, engines new stamps and you know for new meanings is because they tweaked the little things the little things were different here and there but internally speaking besides like the balancer shaft added for the Z3s they're all the same and because they're all the same born stroke you you know you just know that all you gotta do is transplant uh, transplant the fucking rotating assembly over to the, to the K23 if that's the block you're going off of if you have like or say for speaking if you have a K28 to crank and you have z3 rods and pistons or eight you know or fucking anyway i'm pretty sure to be clear you like i said the a3 is the only one that has different uh a different crank than all the other them because they have smaller rods and that bullshit so um as long as you have a crank from the other ones and the pistons and rods from the other ones those all match together and if uh and if you want to use any of those shit in the A3, all you got to do is have that crank and those pistons and rods to put over. Just make sure you keep them together. It's uh, If you try to put like A3 rods on, on fucking those other cranks, they're way too small. You have fucking uh, like a million miles of play. And if you try to put the bigger rods on the smaller A3 crank, they're not going to fit. Um, so uh, I'm, I know I'm trying not to ramble here a little bit. My head's a little fuzzy with keeping thoughts together, but I think this is still straightforward enough to, you know, for you to get the idea here. So, uh, yeah, the Z, any of the K20, other K20 rotating assemblies will fit in the A3 block. You just have to keep the crank with it. All right, guys, I uh, hope this was helpful. And that was real short and quick. Hopefully that gets a lot of you guys seeing this. That way I can squash this question. And uh, I know I promised the, eight, uh, the K24 talk would be next. But, you know, this is, of course, going quick and not planned for. K24 uh, video will be next. And I will be doing some features here in the near f uh, future. For those guys that tuned in and watched the uh, the live stream and wondering about the information on the parts guy I have down in Florida, that's coming soon. I just got to find the time to sit down and make the video. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And peace. Have a good night or morning or day or afternoon. Whatever you see this. <laughs>